It's a storm brewing. Sola's doing well today. Right guys, welcome back to the show. Hope everyone's doing well. For this video, I thought I'd actually do kind of a bit of an old style vlog kind of video where I just feature lots of stuff. I've got some updates to show you with the solar stuff and the kind of power rack and the studio and everything else. So it's Easter weekend. So let's just roll the video and see where it goes. Solar's doing well today. Might even see a bit of wind power later. I think the wind's supposed to pick up. Showing 14 to 15 mile an hour a bit later. So you might have already noticed if you watch the other videos that I've changed this around the studio. I'm trying to make a kind of live setup where I can actually kind of play stuff live, record it into that bad boy there, and then I basically sort of made a tune for the videos like without having to go anywhere near a computer. So that's what I'm trying to do. One of the things I've done is I've got some of these, which are really good actually if you're into your music gear. These are like 10 quid, something like 10 quid each. I've got a couple of them. Um, and what I'm gonna do is these basically just rack, so you can just stack up your gear. Yeah, so hopefully we'll just make it a little bit better in here. Right, that's one done anyway, so. <sighs> Blimey guys, it's Saturday now. The last 24 hours I've had this stomach bug thing. Oh my God, I've just been chucking up all sorts. Horrible, horrible thing. Proper man flu. But I'm back now, it's beautiful weather and I just wanna get on the bike. So yesterday it was like 23 or 24 degrees, something like that. Um, here in the UK and I just I, like, oh, I just need to get on the bike but I just I couldn't even move I literally stayed in bed like half the day so yeah not good anyway I'm back I'm gonna get the bike out and I'm gonna go for a little rip need to go to like the local town so rather than take the twizzy which I always do I think I'm gonna take the bike today because this weather is just insane Right, I'm out on the bike guys, such a nice day today. I just popped into town, pick up some bits. I usually just leave the bike in the front of shops, just, you know, just wheel it into the front of it. It's the great thing about these, they're so small and it's just, you don't have to worry about the parking. Like with the Twizzy, you've still got to park it. So it's just, I don't know, it's all good. But, but anyway, I haven't really eaten anything because I've had this tough stomach bug. So got myself a Greg sausage roll, vegan sausage roll. I still don't feel like I can stomach anything, but here it goes. So I did the little equipment stands. I think it was pretty good, what do you reckon? Quite like that, quite nice setup. It feels like you're in, in a music shop. <laughs> I really like it. Right guys, it's Sunday today, Easter Sunday. So happy Easter if you celebrate all that sort of stuff. We just usually just spend it with family and all that. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. But I thought I'd give you a little update on the power rack and all this sort of stuff. By the way, this noise behind me, just this fan blowing on the power rack. All right, so the power rack then. So nothing's been happening on the wind. The wind turmoil hasn't moved for three or four days now. So there's been zero wind. There is some coming though. Looking on my phone earlier, there is some wind coming next week when it's, there's supposed to be some thunderstorms. So it's probably gonna self-destruct, but I've got some things to try with that. So I'm looking forward to that. So what I hadn't shown you before is I added another inverter. Do you remember in the other video, if you've seen it, I was using one and I was feeding all my panels into this, this one 600 watt inverter. And I was finding these were just getting too hot. Um, you know, there's not great airflow around here. Somebody else pointed this out. So I can do something with that. But I actually kind of thought, well, I don't want to max one out um, at 700 watts of panels into a 600 watt inverter. So what I've done is just got another one um, and I just added this and just chained them together. Now I couldn't find anywhere this connector that was on the end, which is the connector that allows you to sort of daisy chain them together. That's the ideal way of doing it. So I just actually paralleled them at a spur, which is over there. So that works absolutely fine. And these are kicking out. Let's, well, I'll show you what these are kicking out right now. Well, that's not bad. It's 11 o'clock in the morning and this is kicking out 457 watts. So both of those inverters, all my paddles, um, you know, heading towards sort of 500 watts at 11 o'clock. That's pretty impressive for this early on. I'm seeing the power has come down quite a lot because the temperature of the air has gone up. Um, you know, the ambient temperature is a lot higher now than it was um, last week. So less power, but it's a consistent sun, you know, from probably like half seven till seven, something like that. So I'm getting sun because we're south facing. So it just literally the sun goes straight across. So I'm stupid not to have solar panels um, on my roof. And all this stuff has just got me thinking I just need to cover the roof completely and just do this properly. Yeah, look at that, this was yesterday. Look how smooth that is, literally sun all day. 
no, really any fluctuation at all. And then that line going up on this on today is virtually the same. So it's just gonna keep on going. There's no cloud forecast or anything today. So one thing someone in a forum pointed out is you can download the actual um, history, the whole history on like a massive spreadsheet, which there it is, it just popped down there. And it shows you actually everything that you've got set up um, and everything that it's logging the data for. So I will be doing a video about this soon, but I will come back to this. There you go, anyway, look, look how big this spreadsheet is and it shows you everything that's happening. So from every bit of equipment that you've got, it's logging all that data, which is just phenomenal. But what I'm looking for here is my energy from my PV inverter, um, because for some strange reason, they don't allow you in the actual website here, they don't actually allow you to, it doesn't show you what the PV inverter is generating per day, it only does it well, it's, it's just weird, it doesn't show you it, and I've, I've looked everywhere and you can't find out where it actually is. So 162.5 it was last night, 163.6 now, so yeah, just over one kilowatt hour, already at 11 o'clock in the morning. Remember, that's just three panels, so imagine if you've got a whole roof covered. Awesome. I've just been playing around with some new ideas in here for music for the, uh, for the videos. interesting to see if this thing self-destructs or falls down one of the two. So we've had about three and a half amp hours in there. See that? 58 watt hours, five amp, five and a half amps peak. That's what you want, continuous wind and continuous power. Right guys, so still blowing up outside. It's the next day now. We've had like continuously kind of, I don't know, I suppose like 15, 16, 17, 18 miles an hour winds. Nothing crazy, but kind of, it's been interesting to see what's been kind of happening with the turbine. In the night, it just calms down, which I didn't really realize. The wind just drops at the night in the, in the evening. So that's quite interesting. I thought it would just carry on, but it, it kind of doesn't, it drops. Never really even thought about it. It has been spinning pretty much all day. Whether it's actually generating any power is another thing. So in the last video, I showed you how I set this wind turbine up. I was using the existing controller, the one that came with the kit. That little thing at the top is the power meter, which shows you how much power you're generating and, and keeps track of everything. And then that's the Victron charge controller, which is actually a solar charge controller, but I've been trying to use this system with it by feeding it into the PV input of this charger so I can actually charge my lithium bank of batteries. Now, it hasn't really been working, um, and there's lots of reasons for this, as, as we've kind of been finding out. I've been chatting with a few of you in the comments. And one of the main problems is, is this is an MPPT controller, so it actually takes a little while to adjust. And because the wind turbine is actually kind of generating a completely wide variety of voltages, um, it, it just doesn't really work. Also, this charge controller isn't really designed to be kind of connected to this. It's designed to be connected to a battery. And there was a comment from a guy called John Daniel. You might even know him already if you've been kind of watching videos about wind generators and stuff like that. He's a bit of a bit of a guru. But um, yeah, he was saying that he actually uses um, like a slave battery. So these controllers don't really work with um, anything other than what they've designed for. Hey, surprise. But basically he was saying use a 24 volt bank of um, sealed lead acid batteries around 80 amp hour um, and it will it will just work then you can basically just use that 24 volt bank to charge your 12 volt back sounds like a round of the houses kind of job i didn't really want to kind of do that originally but it's now looking like i'm probably going to have to because there's not really any way i can see of getting this to work reliably by using this controller's setup because this Victron just doesn't respond quick enough. It just does not respond quick enough to um, the changes. So, so on here you see much higher readouts than you are if you look on the control panel for the Victron and actually the charged energy is, is kind of a lot lower. So here we've got like, you see, I don't know if you saw that, it just went up to about 111. So yeah, 111 watt hours and 6.6 .6 amp hours. So, you know, it's generating some power. We know this is working, it's just, not all of it is actually get, sort of getting into the batteries. So, so yeah, it's an interesting one. There are other controllers. There's some really expensive ones called Midnight controllers, which are designed for this sort of thing for charging lithium batteries. And those are the only ones I can actually so far see, you know, that are readily kind of available. 
they, I don't know, it's just, it just seems to be a big hole in the market for that, that sort of stuff. So if you know anything, give us a shout. Um, you know, it'd be interesting to know. We're gonna carry on playing around with this stuff. I mean, you know, sealed lead acid batteries are really cheap anyway, so I might just grab a couple for that purpose and then I can just divert the power into them and then work out what I'm gonna do with it after. But it's all fun and games, guys. But anyway, that's gonna be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget, go and check the store out and all the stuff on there, the e-bike sides of things. It's been going mad. Loads of you guys have been interested in the kit, so that is absolutely fantastic. Like, if you wanna build an e-bike kit, just, or if you wanna build an e-bike from a normal bike, just check out the other video that I did um, you know, all the kits are in the shop, ready to go. Got batteries, got all the parts. If you want to sort of do anything with any other e-bikes as well, just super fast stuff, you know, get some five kilowatt motors on. If you want to do any of that, go and check all that stuff out. Hit me up on the email and in the comments. And I'll catch you in the next one, guys.